Hello and welcome. Here I am. Wait a minute. That's not me. Guy's pretty strong, though. You're next. <laughs> Very strong. <laughs> you too. Go <Going> now. <laughs> I'm going to show you a few clips of things I see and experience as I walk around the city or you know, go out on my balcony. Um, vehicle inspections and traffic enforcement uh, seem to be very rare here in Cebu City, Cebu, the Philippines. Uh, this is one case where uh, they had set up a, an inspection station with uh, four or five different officers and they've got somebody back down the street uh, calling ahead and telling them which vehicles to, to pull over based on what they've seen, lights out or who knows what. Uh, maybe the guy, this this guy on the motorbike had a, I think he had some oddball green or blue light, headlight light, and I suspect that's against regulations, but you see it a lot. You see even people with red lights, no headlights, their their headlight is basically red. Uh, I don't know if that's because they're running down the road on their motorbike with parking lights, or they've replaced their white headlamp with a blue, green, yellow, pink, whatever it might be. And then you have this uh, larger truck here was pulled over, and it turns into a family affair, a community affair. Uh, crowd gathers around to watch what's going on. This doesn't occur every day out here. It's a place I often walk by. It's a place where three lanes turn into two lanes, so fortunately they're not blocking. Uh, usually this is a, trans a transition zone for traffic. But uh, anyway, I never did determine what was wrong. They were looking around and poking around at different things. I'm not sure if it was a light out or what it was. But uh, in the end, don't know if the guy got to fix a ticket or not. I'm using a little get up, get to uh, action camera, kind of a GoPro wannabe. It uh, does real well during the daytime with image stabilization and color. Seems to get uh, a little bit confused at night. The lights confuse the image stabilization as well as the color scheme. I, I really should uh, play with some of the different settings, see if I can get some better color out of it in the evening. Can I take a picture? Uh, it's okay. Yeah, because we, I'm, uh, I'm from USA, and we have different. Uh, you do differently. So you have a big pack here, huh? Yes. Okay. This for the pouches. Ah. The buckets. Oh, so how many deliveries do you do in one day? Uh, in one day, sometimes I deliver 60 pieces. 60 pieces yes. some days. Oh. All over Cebu City. No, just. Uh, this area, Mabulu. Oh, just Mabulu this street? Mabulu then uh, Banilad area. You know oh, Banilad, yeah, but I live in Lahug. Ah, uh, yeah. So, Banilad then... In Lahug area, there's other courier or rider. Oh, okay. Well, how many it. hours How many hours do you work? Uh, it depends. If I deliver all, sometimes I'll go back to the warehouse by p.m., 6 p.m., like that. Okay. And you start what time? Uh, when I go out in warehouse, build sometimes one, uh, at one o'clock. At noon? After lunch. Oh, oh after lunch, okay. Very good. I'm glad I got to talk to you. Do they pay you per piece or do they pay you by the hour? By piece. By piece? Yes. How much a piece? Uh, eight pesos. Eight pesos a piece? Yes. Alright, very good. Thank you. And I see these types of signs often, employment type uh, jobs, uh, very narrow age range that they're looking to hire at. And uh, a lot of age discrimination here. There is also in, in, the, in the USA and around, around the world, as I got 
up in my last couple of years before retirement, uh, even though I was self-employed most of those years, uh, I did notice that uh, as I reached out to different places occasionally. It's not unusual for me to see uh, bands practicing out on the street in my walks. This is just one of many I've come across uh, during the evening or weekends. find people uh, at places where cars have to back out and they will step out in traffic and stop the traffic for you hoping for a couple pesos uh, for their trouble. I often stop and talk to uh, law enforcement, the traffic enforcers if they're uh, stationed in a particular area and they're, they've got time to chat a little bit. Uh, tonight is no exception and uh, we'll see what they have to say here. trouble tonight? No. Not yet, huh? Uh, yeah. for no. <laughs> I stay out of trouble. I don't run so fast anymore. Ah, yeah. Where are you going? I live up by uh, JY Square. Hi, Square. Yeah, LaGuardia. So I walk to SM. I walk. Oh, you walk. Exercise, yeah. How old are you? I'm 29. Oh. <laughs> I'm 65. 65? Yeah. No. No wife. Is no no, no wife. wife. Uh, there are so many ticks. Yeah. It seems the second or third question I'm always asked is, where is your wife? And when I tell them I'm still single, they say, I have girl for you. I don't usually want strangers setting me up with uh, their relatives or friends. But uh, anyway, thank you for coming along. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.